Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 3. Do not eat whatever is abominable. Verse 11. Any clean bird you do eat, but these you do not eat, the eagle and the vulture and the black vulture and the red kite and the falcon and the buzzard after their kind and every raven after its kind and the ostrich and the night hawk and the seagull and the hawk after their kind, the little all and the great all and the white all and the pelican and the carrion vulture and the fisher fisher all and the stock and the herion and after after its kind and the hooper and the bird. So uh, the most high warns us uh, of these birds that we're not supposed to eat. In verse eleven, he says, "You can you can eat any clean bird, but these you do not eat." Uh, we're gonna go straight to the point. In verse eleven, Deuteronomy chapter chapter fourteen, verse twelve, it says, "But these you do not eat: the eagles and the vulture and the black vulture and the red kite and the falcon." And the buzzard after their kind, so we're not supposed to eat. Uh, we're not supposed to eat eagles or anything that that is in the family of eagles. We're not supposed to eat eagles, and after their kind, anything that looks like eagle or of the same family of the eagles. We're not supposed to eat a vulture or anything that is of the same family as the vulture. Or anything that looks like a vulture, because they are all after their kinds. We're not supposed to really eat a red kite and the falcon and the buzzard after their kind. So the key phrase here is after its kind. After its kind. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 12 and verse 13, it gives you the list of birds that we're not supposed to eat. And we're not supposed to eat those birds. And after their kind. So the other birds that looks like them because there are hundreds or thousands of birds in this world and if the most high wants to decide to uh, list the names of all the birds we're supposed to in all the birds we're supposed to eat and the birds we're not supposed to eat there will not be room for any other information in the Bible. It will literally take the whole Bible to list all the names of all these birds because there are so many birds. And that is why he says, Of any clean bird, you do eat, but these you do not eat. And then he lists the, the birds we're not supposed to eat. We're not supposed to eat eagle. We're not supposed to eat vulture. But to make it clear and make it simple for us, he said, After their kind. So, after their kind. Of any 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 other birds that looks like them or that looks like of their family. So the key phrase here, please pay attention to this phrase. Read it for yourself. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 12 and verse 13. You can clearly see at the end of the verse, at the end of verse 13, it says after their kind. And that's our key phrase. If you miss that this point then you most likely will not be able to get this. So the point here is that we're not supposed to eat eagle or after their kind. We're not supposed to eat vulture or after their kind. We're not supposed to eat uh, black vulture or after their kind. So the key phrase here, when he listed all the names of these birds that we're not supposed to eat, at the end, he put after their kind. Because that's the only way to shorten it. Just like he said about the fish, about about all the uh, creatures that are on the ocean, he told us that anything, anything that has fins and scales in the ocean, that we can eat. Anything that does not have fins and scales in the ocean, we're not supposed to eat that. We're not supposed to eat shrimp. We're not supposed to eat any other thing that does anything that has fins and scales that we're supposed to eat, we, that we can eat. So, because there's so many creatures in the ocean, there's hundreds or thousands of creatures in the ocean, it will take thousands or millions of pages pages to write down their names. That is why he narrowed it down to anything that has fins and anything that has scales that we can eat. So go back to the issue of vulture. There's so many birds 
And as he said in verse chapter, uh, chapter, Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 11, he said, Any clean bird you do eat, but this you do not eat. Again, Deuteronomy chapter 14, uh, verse 12, But this you do not eat, the eagles, the vulture, the black vulture, verse 13, and the red kite, and the falcon, and the buzzard after their kind. Again, please, uh, it sounds like a broken radio repeating myself, but I just want to make this point. The key phrase here, the point here is after their kind. So we're not supposed to eat a vo eat vulture or anything that looks like a vulture. After their kind. We're not supposed to eat eagles and after their kind. All right. So take a look at this picture. This is a picture of a vulture. And here's a picture of a vulture. Please pay attention to their head. You will be able to notice that they have a red head and pretty much no hair in their head. So they and here's a picture of another vulture. And here is a picture of a vulture. And here is a picture of a vulture getting ready to eat a third animal. Uh because they are scavengers. They eat, they feed off of dead animals. That's how they, 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 they roll. That's what they eat. Okay, so as you can clearly see, uh, you've seen the pictures of, a, of vulture, what vulture looks like. These are the, the birds that we're told not to eat. Them or after their kind, we are not supposed to eat. After its kind, it's very important here to, to remember that phrase. Them or after their kind, we're not supposed to eat. All right, so here's a picture of a, of a turkey. This is a picture of a turkey. And please pay attention to the head of this turkey. And here's a picture of another turkey. And here's a picture of another turkey. And here's a picture of another turkey. And the last one, picture of another turkey so you can clearly see that turkey even though the 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 the, the bird turkey was not mentioned in the bible but it's of the same family of as, as a vulture they are clearly of the same family it's after the kind of vultures so the most high chose vulture and told us not to eat vulture or anything that is of the same family as a vulture turkey is clearly of the same family as a vulture and you can you can you can tell by looking at the pictures or you can also do your research don't just scoff at this video or ignore it or or actually accept it don't accept this information please do your own research don't just do your own research about turkey they are of the same family as the vulture as you can see as they say clear uh, picture Picture speaks louder than um, whatever, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, um, so we clearly are not supposed to eat vultures. And we are definitely are not supposed to eat uh, turkey because they are of the same family as the vulture. This is a very simple, the most high made it very simple for us. Unfortunately, people do not, have not been able to come across this information or they are totally disregarding it. But... Just like he said that he will destroy those that eat swine flesh. He does not take this lightly. In Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16 and verse 17, the Most High says that he will destroy those that eat swine's flesh and those that eat pork, you know, pork, pork, swine's flesh. He said that he will destroy them. And that prophecy has not been fulfilled. Please read the whole chapter of Isaiah 66 and you will see that it's a feature of prophecy that has not been fulfilled. The Most High said that he will destroy those that eat swine's flesh. The same information, the same thing applies to the other animals because it's in the, the same chapter of Deuteronomy chapter 14 where we are told not to eat swine's flesh, pork, or pig. It's in the same place that we're told not to eat vulture or other 
animals that we're told not to eat. There's a lot more animals out there where we can eat, but these are the ones that the Most High says they are, they are abominable. They are abomination, and He told us not to eat them. He created these birds, and He created us. He certainly knows better than us. And he knows what's good for our body, and he knows what's good for us. He created all these animals. So he, and when he said that he does not want us to eat them, we should not eat them. Unfortunately, here in the United States, uh, the day, the, the pagan holiday that they call Thanksgiving has been designated as the day uh, that this bird is mostly consumed. This bird called turkey has a day in the United States that they designated that, which is a day that they consume most of the turkey in this nation. All right, so I know what you may be thinking. Uh, you might be thinking this is all Old Testament. This is all a bunch of Old Testament laws. Let's look and see what the New Testament says. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, our Savior, uh, Christ, the Yeshua, says, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophet. I have not come to abolish, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not a letter nor a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever keeps them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom. In John chapter 14 verse 16, in John chapter 14 verse 15, he said, If you love me, keep my commandment. First John chapter 2 verse 3 says, And by this we know that we know him, if we Keep his commandment. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandment is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of Elohim is perfected, and by this we may know that we know him. Revelation chapter 22 verse 14 says, Christ said, Blessed are those that keep his commandment that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. So we can clearly see that Christ, our Messiah, our Savior, who we are supposed to be putting our faith on, is telling us that we have to keep all the laws. We have to keep the laws uh, that not even a dot will pass away or will be uh, done away with in the Old Testament until heaven and earth passes away, uh, which is, you can read more about that in Revelation chapter 20. So uh, uh, as long as we still have this earth and we still, the heaven and earth is still here and we can see them, every single dot, every single law, the commandment that we're given to is still in effect according to Christ. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandment. In First John chapter 2 from verse 3, we know that the only way we can know that we know him is if we keep his commandment. And whoever claims that they know God, but they do not keep his commandment, that person is a liar, according to First John chapter 2 verse 3. And then in Revelation chapter 22 verse 14, Christ tells us that those that will be allowed to eat from the tree of life and will be allowed to come into the kingdom of heaven are those that keep, the, keep his commandment. So this is very important uh, that we do not disregard his laws and his commandment regardless of, of what we have been taught in our various religious organizations. It's very important to go back and find out the things that we're told to do um, and keep the commandment. And each time you, you put a, a pork in your mouth, you are committing a sin. And each time you eat a turkey, you are also committing a sin. Because according to First John chapter 3, verse 4, sin is breaking the Torah, breaking the commandment. Sin is lawlessness, uh, according to First John 3, 4. So each time it, to commit a sin means to break the law. Well, the law in Deuteronomy chapter 14 uh, tells us 
uh, that we should not eat uh, a vulture, eagle, and turkey. So turkey clearly. The whole point of this presentation is to present the fact, the biblical fact, that turkey is part of the birds we're told not to eat. If you would like more information on this uh, particular presentation, or if you would like to, uh, if you have any question, or if you just subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we are going to be uploading a lot more video on topics like this and presentation like this, and a lot more. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.